This is what we do related in this. This is every goddamn day. And with that said, welcome to the Executive Geek Round Table. How's everybody doing today? Great cool, day. Are you, what, 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 don't you question this. How did it happen? Okay. Okay. You're not about me, Durant. <laughs> you almost made Bill spit all his shit out. I about turned Mike as black as we are, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We are back. Hi. Oh, my God. So, this week we have a lot of lovely things going on. I just want to check in with everybody. How we doing? Ladies first. Oh, ladies first. I doing. can't complain. Just mm -hmm. an average week. Average. I mean, why are you making sure? It ain't nothing average. We executive. Yeah, you had executive week of getting money, right? <laughs> yes, you could say Ooh, it. Like yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how you doing, Julia? I'm good, baby. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cannot complain. Mm -hmm. Working. Living. My life, like it's golden. Oh, Jesus. Did you really just go there? Yeah, I like it's golden. I'm sorry. All right, Miss Scott. Cool. How you doing, Bill? <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Travel around the world back again. Julius <laughs> Black and Anyway, so I'm doing hey, uh, none quite of well, gonna... well, sir. Yes. And yes. hey, none of y'all gonna pick up. Why are you gonna move right to radio <laughs> announcer? <laughs> Why, yes. I, That's like Bill's I'm fun doing just uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> this is... That's great. Bill's neutral. <laughs> it is. Bill Butts. Bill Butts. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a sweep for that this week. It's like, Bill Butts. Man. I'm like, that's, that's character. All right, cool. That, that, shit, uh, just, just do Bill. Just do <laughs> it's funny how that works sometimes when you do that. It's like, wow, I make the most money and have the most success just being me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my God. It's crazy. Crazy. Oh but that's your question. Yeah, I did a lot of black guy stuff. You know, pretty ridiculous. Oh I'm going to sit my drink. My <laughs> power. <laughs> you. Oh, I, you know, I'm fine. I did a lot of white guy stuff. Oh. And, uh, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is why y'all uh, two sit that dance on yes, There's yes. something wrong with y'all too. <laughs> Man, I'm just, I am just out here trying to live my life. Living the best life I can live, all right? Okay, so before we get into it, I got a question. Why is that always the default white guy? I voice? don't know. I have no well, idea. Well, actually, if you so, must know, Star Trek episode, <laughs> episode <laughs> two, Pars season Parsnips. Parsnips. Rotobagos. <laughs> like, how does this become like the default? White guy, I don't, know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but like my whole life, ever since like I keep hearing that, but I'm like, why is generic white guy voice just Steve Urkel? Who's what? black? Is Steve Urkel. Like Steve Urkel. I, I, I'm like, that's not that, that's Steve. It's seriously. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I don't have to take this. I think our Steve Buscemi has a pretty, you know, average kind of voice. It does kind of sound like Steve Buscemi, I guess. That's what I was thinking. Hey there, fellow <laughs> teens. Oh my God. Say the quote from Spy Kids. What's that? The second one. Ooh. Steve Buscemi. You, you know like, we didn't watch no damn Spy Kids. <laughs> you didn't see Spy Kids? Hell no. What the fuck? I want to watch Spy Kids. Shut the hell up, Chris. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, do you know the quote? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the quote. Because he was playing the mad scientist on the island, and he was like trying to be really deep in a kid's movie, saying, do you think God is up in heaven because he's afraid of the things he made? Huh. I like but that. you can't be laying you stuff like that. That's a little spies. heavy for that's spy kids, yeah, I mean, man. Damn, that them kids can't enjoy themselves, and now they think right. things they wasn't meant to think. Right? Right. Right. Like, like, Sixteen-year-old having an existential crisis and shit. Fifteen-year-old <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Did you see Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I did. That's why when Twilight came out, I couldn't call. Hey, y'all remember Soul Plane? Actually, he was not Jacob. He was not Jacob. It was Shark Boy to me. I couldn't call him anything else. <laughs> At some point, we're going to get to the top news of the day. I'm going to just let this keep going for a minute. Y'all done yet? I, Hold on. Well, I need to look up what Shark Boy looks like. I have to know. Do you now. remember in Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Well, you might get Shark Boy a wrestler, so just was, so you know. That's also shark. very funny. <laughs> Yes. Remember in Shark Boy yes. and Lava Boy Girl, wrestler. there was the girl in the classroom, and the father was a teacher, and he made her sit underneath the vent, and she was always cold, and it was the middle of the summer. That was me in school. My teachers always put me Speaks under the you. vent. Yeah, always underneath oh the vent. I was God. always cold, 
It would, you know, it's California, it'd be 100 degrees outside, I'd be freezing my ass off. But you weren't on fire. No, no. The, remember I the envy classroom, her childhood. The, the, the daughter, the teacher, air, air conditioning he had to sit her in the front because she's his daughter and the vent was there and she was always cold. And the main character was saying, you know, we could switch seats because you're always coughing, you're always cold. But the teacher didn't let him do that. I don't know how we got here, but that is the loudest we've ever heard Sam be ever. <laughs> I love it. I mean, she was passionate. Passionate. Fucking shark boy, dude. Passionate. Shark boy in the... Uh, like, look! Yeah. His name is not oh, Jesus. Oh, you want fucking shark Jesus? Boy. Speaking of which, all right. Oh, uh, and, then, and then I will let this go, I promise. Me. Who who was it? Who directed those? And what did they do recently? That Robert would... Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. That was Robert yes. Rodriguez? Yes. See, that was Robert Rodriguez. What yeah. the freaking crap, man? Yeah. 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 He did it for that was kids. Robert Rodriguez, yeah. Um, and then he did the. You Hence know, why he got Antonio Banderas on there, I think. Right. Okay, so you know, at the El Mariachi, you right. know, and then, then all the sequels, and yes. Watch them again. Oh. They're hilarious, especially with the old effects from the 2000s. Oh, the man. CG has not aged well. No. It's like watching the Power Rangers movie. Oh, God. Oh. Don't you make better turbo. Don't you make better turbo. No further back than turbo. <laughs> no. The original, baby. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I well, ooze. Ladies and gentlemen. X-Men Apocalypse. Yeah. Now we're going to do some top news. <laughs> so, for the top news of the day, I don't know how we got on that tangent, but we got there. So, um, all <laughs> of you should probably know, if you don't know, Shirley Curry, better yet known as the Skyrim Grandma, is now going to be immortalized in Elder Scrolls Six as an NPC oh, character. Right. Yeah, it's um, that is very, very awesome because, I mean, seeing it, whenever you see people who are either, you know, Couples or dads or especially older people who love video games and they're like adamant about it. I, love it. I think that's so dope. And this is one of the situations where a petition actually worked because fans decided to get together and write a petition to Bethesda saying, "Please immortalize Shirley and put her in the game." So she and might they not make it. To right? It's like, and they <laughs> actually listened. You know, especially since Six isn't going to be out for a couple of years, as they said. You know, I like the fact that the years, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's the years. Seven you know, seven years later, right? right? <laughs> you know, PlayStation Seven. Exactly. Right. You know, but I, I, I do think that that's where the game community and petitions work well. When you say, "Hey, let's take someone we love, we care about, who's awesome, and put them in the game." and yes. do something amazing for this person. That is 100%. That's really cool. Yeah, so I think that was amazing. I think that was awesome. Um, next point in the news. Robert Pattinson has been cast as Batman. Maybe, somewhat. Speaking we of don't Twilight. Know. It's been confirmed. We don't know it's confirmed. But mm. I look at it like this. I know the geek world has gone off and they're comparing the guy to Twilight movies and blah, blah, blah. But I will say this. They said the same about Keaton. That's true. Said the same about Nicholson. Said the same thing about Bell. Said mm. the same thing about Heath. Okay. And Leto. And Leto. And Leto. So, and the thing I about the it Leto is, Joker, I did. I, I did thought too. It was kind of cool. It was a very interesting interpretation. Well, it, we finally got like the clown prince of crime. Yes. We got the gangster, yes. super you know, like, Joker. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, is everyone who has portrayed these characters were really, really good. And on top of that, if you look at Robert Pattinson's films outside of Twilight, especially his more recent ones, the dude can fucking act. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing with Kristen. Like, um. Uh, I can't remember the movie's called. No, American Ultra. Oh, with um, um, yeah, yeah. Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, Jesse Eisenberg. Mm -hmm. She was really good in that film. Yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah. Didn't wait. See that. Whoa, she she can act. Mm -hmm. But it, it's like most of us, we've been kind of tainted mm -hmm. by Twilight. It's hard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Especially yeah. like the way like with memes. And yeah. yeah. Works. Well, I have two issues with that. Number one, yeah. with the actors, mm -hmm. you do realize that the directors okayed that. Whenever yeah. you did the performance, yeah. the, the yeah. directors said, okay, I'm fine with that. They didn't say, hey, you know, you did. You came off as very bland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one stepped in. So in all Captain fairness, <laughs> in all fairness, you can't put the entire blame on the actors. Yeah. Second, the other complaints I was saying about Robert Pattinson was mm -hmm. that he's not fit enough for the role, or that he needs to put on muscles. Like Zach, Zachary Levi, yeah. just recently with Shazam. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, that dude totally. put on. He put like ma he was cultivating mass. And all I have to say is. <laughs> It's, it's when people say things like that, I, I always say you really don't know how Hollywood works. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. look at Chris Evans before Captain America. Look at him nine months later yeah, when he started true. filming. Yeah. Okay? It's like all the... Hell, even Chris Hemsworth. Christian Bale? Yeah. Yeah. Christian, Christian Bale! Bale. Yeah. After he came off of The Machinist? Oh, the Machinist. The Machinist. Yeah. I'm sorry. Not God! Yeah, 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 like, so it's just like that well, I never worry about because wow. I'm just like, these dudes yeah. get paid millions yeah. to work out. So they will yeah. be fine. That pretty yeah. much sums it up right there. Basically. The fact that you getting... Millions, yeah. yeah, millions. Like work out for the next six months. That is your job. <laughs> That's your job. job. Read yeah. the script, 
Lifties. You yeah. see that, Finn yeah. Jones? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Oh, Iron Fist. Uh, all I Deep gotta shots. say, What's up? <laughs> for our boy, for our peasant. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so ten years ago, hmm. he made a teen movie that was meant for teens. Exactly. You can't, but like, you know what's going to happen in ten years? You can get a doctorate. You can become a licensed so surgeon. Much. That much school. He could have learned eight different martial arts. Yeah. The guy could have learned something. He could be bulky as hell right now. And the thing yeah. is, is he looks like a really cool young year one Bruce. Sure. Sure. Because he really I, does. I keep telling people, that, and, and, and everyone gets this mistake, and I told them this with Bale, mm-hmm. and I told them this, you know, even with Affleck and everyone else, mm-hmm. they're not casting for Batman. Mm-hmm. They're casting for Bruce Wayne. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay? Because Batman, for the most part, is a stunt guy mm-hmm. in the in the cow. Mm-hmm. But you're casting for Bruce Wayne. Right. Mm-hmm. And some of the recent films I've watched with Robert, I'm like, oh, he can do a young Bruce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He can do a young Bruce just came back from training and, you know, basically making mistakes learning how to do this. Like, mm-hmm. he can... Say, hell, if the young kid um, did it in fucking Gotham playing a young Bruce growing up, Robert Pattinson can do it. Sure. Yeah. You know, oh, so, yeah. you know... Outside of all the haters, I actually have some confidence in it. That's I don't really got a dog in this fight, so I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to defer to the people yeah. who really know more about it. Same me. here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. I, I, and, and honestly, too, like, I didn't, like, I didn't, I didn't watch the Twilight movies, but, like, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't watch, I didn't watch a lot of, like, the Heath, the Heath Ledger yeah. heartthrob movies either, but then you watch him as Joker, and it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. Uh, he does it. Look at like Dwayne Johnson. He went from like the Tooth Fairy to like the biggest action star ever. He grew. Yeah. Like he fucking physically. Grew. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Baki's brother. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he got like bone enhancements. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a yeah. good example yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really big growth there. Yeah. So. And this yep. is like a lot of these people, they grow as actors. And if you can take someone like a Dwayne Johnson who is not classically trained mm-hmm. and now make him a very convincing actor, mm-hmm. someone who like Robert sure. Pattinson, who is a classically trained actor, I. He could play a young Bruce. I said, yeah, yeah. I, okay, here's yeah. the thing, because everybody yeah. says like like the way you can take a rest. But I'm like, no, man, that dude they was on live actors. television. Yeah, yeah. 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 every right. fucking yeah. 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 wrestling yeah. multiple yeah. times yeah. in front of yeah. thousands yeah. and thousands of people in person, yeah. and millions yeah. of people around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's why I, not not every yeah. wrestler is a good actor. True, yeah. but the yeah, ones that are, that's why. Yeah, yeah. only a few do it. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of them don't. Yeah, they don't Batista's really have any. On his way. Batista, mm-hmm. John Cena's been yes. doing more lately. Yeah, yes. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Batista definitely grew. But yeah, so th- that's kind of my thing with Robert Pattinson. All right, last piece of news. Speaking about you know the whole Batman thing, we got a little bit of Uh-oh. interesting news. So I haven't checked the recent stats. Oh boy. But um, when I did check the stats, the likes were significantly less than the dislikes. Speaking of, of course, the new Batwoman trailer starring Ruby Rose. Mm. Now, this is my take on it. About a year, probably, yeah, a little over a year ago when they announced that they had cast Ruby Rose as Batwoman, I said, hmm, okay, she can't really act for whatever. But then they ruined it for me when they told me the reason why. They said, we cast her because, you know, Kathy Kane is a lesbian and, you know, we had to get a lesbian actress. And I said, stop. So instead of casting for talent, instead of casting for skill... Instead of casting because the actor, the actress in this case is good for the role, we cast her because she was lesbian. And then we get the trailer. Now, mind you, when they did the crossover, her introduction wasn't bad when they in the crossover because they kept it very simple. She was just Batwoman. She was just Kathy. They had her be kind of one-dimensional, but they made it work because she wasn't on screen long. But now when you see the trailer, and I don't know, have you guys watched the trailer? I, I, watched have, the trailer. Yeah. I okay. have. I have my thoughts. So... <clears throat> Yeah, we, and we're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, the thing is, is everything that I hate the CW for, they literally did in one minute and 30 seconds. It's almost like they made a trailer for, this is what we do wrong at the CW. Because everything in that trailer hurt my feelings. Because first of all, just get it out there, I love Batwoman. I love Batwoman. She's a dope character. She is smart. She is sexy. She is funny. She's actually feminine. She's intelligent. Like, she's badass. And then this trailer, we got... We don't know if she wants to be butch or not. Super defiant for no real reason. I'm acting like I'm smart. I'm a thief for some weird reason. And I have to let people know that I'm a woman every five seconds. Yeah, that, that guy looked mm. great. And, and, and it was one of the things where it's just like, why? Mm. And this is why... It's billboarding. So, like, it's, it's, yeah. it's the same, like you said, the same shit. It's like, billboard this shit. Just 
just do we get it. it. It's just that woman. You we, know, we understand how this works. And, and, and it's just like for mm. me, and then the one thing that got me is when, you know, she meets a young Lucius Fox and oh, yeah. she breaks into the bat cave. <laughs> And mm. it was just like, yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah. when I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, said, this suit is perfection. Oh, it will be perfect when it's made to fit a woman. That was line, like, yeah. I'm like, I, okay, I'll be straight with you. The trailer started. I'm like, dope. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm really feeling this. I'm like, okay, you see her kind of like building up. She's like, capture whatnot, gets out, beating people up, sneaks into the back cave. That's my cousin. I'm like, all right, okay. cool. I'm yeah, over yeah, this exactly. going. Yeah. Then that line, I'm like, it's kind of sexist and why, why you, why you, you're punching Batman. I mean, yeah. I mean, no. you, you don't have... I mean, I, I understand that for shows like this, I love combo characters. Yes. Generally. Yeah. But I find it dumb, whether it be a male or a female saying it, Yeah. why bash the other sex? Yes. yes. It, it makes no sense at all. Like, yeah, that that line, like, I, I was all on board. I'm like, yeah. why, why are you that's bashing? Because he's a man. Like, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. So I'm just like, like why? Because, like, Batwoman is a great character. But, like, but it's like, it's reverse the roles. If, if, yeah. if, if a male Batman yeah. or whatever, yeah. whatever yeah. Like, like, you know, just, like, you know, if it were, if it, if the costume were female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a dude walked in and said, mm -hmm. well, you're like, no, this costume, like, this costume's perfection. He's like, no, it will be when a man wears it. Yeah. Think about how horrible that would sound. That, that is equally <laughs> dumb. No, like, not equally only dumb. equally dumb, it's, it will be considered horrifically exactly. sexist. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I think the problem, problem is, is I think that there's, there's a line that needs yeah. to be drawn. I think yeah. that, like, the line is, it's skewed right now, right? Yeah. Like, on a, on a scale of, like, um, you know, like, horribly unfair and, like, fair yeah. over here, you know? It's yeah. like, there's... We don't have no balance. There's no, there's no balance. I think no. because it's, like... I'm I'm going to do my my best to be the the devil's advocate here and to be empathetic to those uh, that I am not, <laughs> right? So I I am not a woman, as far as you all know. Uh, just some very handsome woman. Um, he identifies so, as male. Yeah, well, these are plugs. So <laughs> that hurt like shit. Um, but I think it's like, all right, if you're used to like, well, you know, we we're, we're dominated by an industry of male actors and male heroes and um, protagonists yeah. it's like maybe maybe you feel like you have to or not 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 even to, to the credit of like female yeah. actors and writers etc I think I think again I think sometimes it might be like maybe it's men in Hollywood still feeling like well we've got to shove this out there. Whereas, yeah. because um, when I was watching uh, our, our Avengers episode, mm -hmm. I was thinking, you know, like, I I loved that shot with, like, or I, I loved the fact that there was uh, the, the, the collaborative effort with, like, the, yeah. the female yeah. Marvel characters. Mm -hmm. I didn't like how it was presented because exactly. I would have rather seen them, like, out, like, mixing it up, you know, kind of like in yeah, Avengers yeah, like, 1. Exactly. Like, Sam's point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, that yeah. was a really mm -hmm. good point. That, that, like, one shot of them doing cool exactly. things. and. I feel like sometimes, well, oftentimes nowadays, I think that there's, there's this still this impression that like we we gotta like we gotta really put that out yeah. there, and it's like it's pandering. It, it, yeah, yeah, and it, and it kind of feels like you don't. If just, they just took, if they just stopped one step short, just a step yeah. short, like a yeah. step short. Like just, the, the fact that you're, little, that you're acknowledging little, this yeah. is good, but you don't have to like. You don't have to slap a giant sticker on the box, too. Yeah. We get it, and we appreciate it more yeah. when it's not just, like, cram-jammed in our face, as Mike was one, saying. One, yeah, one, and, and I think... What do, you, like, what do you think, Sarah? I was about to say, as a woman, mm -hmm. I feel like this does a disservice to us. Hmm. I really do, that if we're trying to progress and have more roles and mm -hmm. get equal treatment, then we need to, like, you guys, no, stop bashing on the other sex. Oh, yeah. I was, I cringed when I saw the trailer. When she says that first line, then the music, I'm a woman, here I come. And then the final line where she said, um, you know, don't let a man take credit for a woman's work. Yeah. I hated all of that. Like, uh, you know, in my opinion, as a writer, I'm looking at it like this. Who is Batwoman? What do we need to know about her? What's her yeah. message? And even what is the theme of this season? Mm -hmm. Is this really what we want to tell about yeah. this character? Because first of all, mm -hmm. just talking about a pure character standpoint, I'm sorry, you sound like a stuck-up entitled bitch. 
That's what you come off as. Yeah. Now, out to, to go further outside, though, then, is, okay, the issue of women in film and, and characters in comics, like I said, does a disservice. Because with Captain Marvel, okay, this is how we need to get female superheroes or heroines on the show mm -hmm. or the movie. Sure. Is we have to replace a male character. We have to be a tokenized version oh, of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. We yeah. have to do all that, and we have to insult them on the way. And then yeah. as a team player, we have to get all the credit. We have to have all the final yeah. bosses. We have mm -hmm. to be overpowered. We have to have no flaws. That's not realistic. As a character, you're boring. Yeah. I can't relate to you. Yeah. And then for the guys, I'm sure as a guy, you might even think, why is she here? Because she's going to, again, be making it worse. As a kid growing up, for a while, even though all of my friends were guys, there were moments because of growing up, we had the girl power thing going on. Mm -hmm. They would say, why, why do you have to do this, Sam? Like, why do you have to have this character? They would cringe. And I didn't want that. I would tell them, no, no, let me be Red Ranger. I don't want to be Pink yeah. Ranger. I don't want to yeah. do all of that. Because, yeah. you know, back then, even though they weren't overpowered, you could tell they were forcing them in instead of making it organic. Like, make them a part of the team, yeah. not a leader of the team, or, or rather not a replacement yeah. for the team. Mm -hmm. Sure. It, it's one of those things that every time I talk about it, because I talk about this a lot, is it comes in presentation. And it comes yeah. in how you present it. The moment that you pander to any audience, whether it's women or homosexuals or, you know, black people or Asian people or Hispanic, whatever, it's it's forced. Because what I can literally picture guys in a room that are basically older white dudes saying, well, we need to make sure that this black character is gets put in front and they have these things because, you know, the black audience will like that. And, you know, right. and, like, and that's why you're doing it. Not because it's just a good creative decision. Yeah. yeah. It's because your black audience will like this. It and appeals it, to a demographic. Can I add exactly. to that too, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you do add a minority character, whether it's black or woman, yeah. notice they get the small bits. Yeah. yeah. They get the, they get mm -hmm. the leftovers. Like, you're going to be the best yeah. friend or you're going to be the guard. Mm -hmm. or you're going to get a minor role instead of, yeah. why don't you give them an actual character with an arc that actually has meaning to the yeah. story? And yeah. if you give them an actual arc, it doesn't have to be an arc that's based in stereotypical struggles of what that, I guess, group is known for. Exactly. And, and the thing that also got me with the, especially the Batwoman trailer, is they literally stole the Marvel marketing thing of the her role thing. Because they did that in the trailer, too. They did the her with the, and I'm like, so is this going to be a thing now? Anytime we have a female hero, we're going to have the her role? And it's just like, it didn't work the first time. Why are we doing it again? And on your point with the last line is I'm not going to take, I'm not going to let a man take a credit, credit for a woman's work. The reason why that line really got me is for two reasons. Reason number one is in the context of the show, it makes no sense. Because I'm like, you literally broke into his back cave. You stole his suit. And the first couple of episodes, as they've already confirmed, you're using his name to right. get your name out there. So, so it's like you're literally. So it's a, it's understood that this all takes place like after Batman has like already had like a career in Gotham. Yeah. yeah. So she literally is using his name, his technology, and his legacy to build hers. And is saying the shit that she's saying, which so is it's like extremely problematic. So it doesn't make you, you a likable character. Your cousin. Yeah, so, so I'm just like, right. so you're doing the thing that you're telling them not to do to you, but it's okay. Because equality? And that's what gets to my bigger that point. That ain't equality. So just like Captain yeah. Marvel and some other characters that they have right now, what we're saying is that if a guy does it, it's a problem. But if a girl does it, it's empowering. Damn it's called so hypocrisy. Like it's yes. Well, it's like, it's hypocrisy and it's like, what are we teaching people here? You know, and it's like, that's the message that's being conveyed. And like I said, I haven't looked at the recent stats, but when I looked at the likes versus the dislikes, the last time I checked, it was like 182,000 versus like 74,000. It, it was a pretty skewed number. I was like, oh, And I'm like, damn. that should kind of tell you where yeah. it is right now. That should tell you what people are feeling because if people aren't liking it because they're going, whoa, what what are you trying to tell me? And it's mainly ladies, because I always make sure I, I want to get the voice from my female friends so I'm not being sure, that sure. guy. I'm like, ladies, what do you think of this? Because I, I want to make sure I'm not sounding wrong. Sex, and then ladies go, fuck was this? And, and Sam was the first one that showed me. She went off. And, you know, and then I kept getting, I'm just like, so so to me, hmm. what, 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 what's the recent stats right now? Okay. Breaking news, y'all. Uh, yeah. 542, oh. Sunday, May 19th, we actually uh, yeah. recorded this. Current likes, 56,000. Ooh. Current dislikes, 207,000 wow. likes. And 
Ooh. On that note, oh. that leads Ooh. us to our topic of the day, talking about failure. <laughs> and <laughs> nice that's, that's a nice kind of segue. And I hate to use that as an example, but the thing about failure is that failure works in, in, a, in three different categories. You have your first category, which unfortunately is this one, of when you're trying to do something that you really, I don't want to say shouldn't be doing, but I like the phrase, when you're trying to do the right thing for the wrong reasons. Okay, because yes, I, I get it. We need more strong women on film. Agreed. You know, we need more of different alternative lifestyles and minorities on film. Definitely. But there's a way to do it. Yeah. There's a way to do it. And you don't have to disparage anyone else. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of like what? just dragging somebody else through the mud mm -hmm. just because. And like, I know, oh, you poor guys. I know, I know. Poor guys. We're not it's fragile. Like, no, it's, and that's the thing. It's, it's more just kind of like... It's fragile. Oh, you know it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's Italian. Italian. You're right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just feels like... I... Okay. One thing that I have loved about watching characters like... Um, well, like all the strong female, mm -hmm. female characters from the Game of Thrones yes. show, mm -hmm. all the Marvel movies, mm -hmm. um, shit, the Marvel TV shows like Netflix, yeah. like Jessica Jones and shit. Yeah, like any of these female characters that I'm just like, I just like it because they're so just compelling. They're just badass, and they, so they're like compelling. You don't need to like. You don't need to ex mm -hmm. like explain your badassness yeah. by like downplaying mm -hmm. the Someone value else. of others. Yes. Like just let your actions speak for you. Yes. Right? Yes, 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 we yes, are, yes, yes, we yes, are yes. I I would say I would say we have a long way to go still as a country in terms of uh in terms of like social correcting social inadequacy and things yeah. like that. But I feel that nowadays we are at least Better than we've been in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're talking the, about it. The, nothing it, it we're talking yours. about it, and it's like yeah. you don't, you don't. It's you like need to the floor the is yours. Yeah. yeah, we're listening. Go ahead. Like you don't need to. Like it's just like, well, thank you very much. Also, you punk bitch, you yeah. ain't shit, and your mama booty hole stink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Woo! And it's like, and that's where the message yeah, like, gets oh, lost. Damn. Yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 I, it, why? You, yeah. you don't have to bring yourself up by bringing others down. Yes. That's how I see. Yeah. It. Message. It, it's something that actually Nakota, um, who's not here today, she, she brought up a really good point. She said, "Jory, you said this before, but she reminded me of my own point." She said, "One of the issues that they're having with film and media nowadays, and creating things for you know, I guess you say alternative people that's not you know white and male, is." The argument is, well, you know, they did that back in the 90s with men, and men were doing this in the 90s. Said, yes, but that was 30 years ago now. Yeah. So you mean to tell me you're trying to fix a new problem with the old solution? That's crazy. That's the most back-ass words yeah. thing. Ever. Like, yeah. yes, they did do it in the 90s, and it Stop. didn't work. That's why it stopped. Make a right. Right. Exactly. It's like, it wasn't right then, and that's why it stopped. So you mean to tell me that the only way you learn is by doing the same fucked up thing that was done to you to the other side? I don't know, it's like, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, like do, we, do we really need comeuppance right now? Right? Like, it's not going to help. I mean, we're, we're literally seeing this in real time with so many things, and, and specifically American society yeah. right now. Like, that idea kind of permeating the entire political discourse. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck what's right to do for the, for the people. Right. It's about left and right, politics and mm -hmm. shit like that. Sure. It, it, but now it's like the same thing with, with men and women in yeah. entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's the same just, fucking problem. It's like gerrymandering yeah. in Hollywood. Yes, yeah. yes. That's yes. basically what it is. You know, and and, and, it, and it solves <laughs> it's nothing yeah. obvious as yeah. hell. But the problem yeah. is, is that you got these people who just are steps like just they they command social attention yeah. so much. Yeah, like they say whatever the hell, and it just drowns out everybody else. And yeah. and and the, the problem on top of that problem is the mm -hmm. fact that. A lot of the people who are reasonable, rational, mm -hmm. well-meaning, and, and thinking adults mm -hmm. won't say anything. They yeah. just go like, or yeah. like, there's no dis. I mean, yeah. like, yeah. if there is a dislike button, they dislike it. Yeah. But for the most part, it's like, and then they go on about their day because yeah. they're too busy doing real people shit, right. or they don't want to feel yeah. like that they're, you know, that they're a part of the problem. Yes. Yeah. Or it's something called guilt liking. Yeah. Uh, if I don't like this or if I don't agree with this, yeah. I'll be looked at as bad guy. So let me just do it just to be safe. But I don't want to voice my opinion. Yeah. And it's like. This is why we have a problem. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say, bro? I'm saying, like, yeah. on this subject here, uh, everything that's really going forward, mm -hmm. this is where I think I'm gonna be able to say, like, Black Panther 
is a say politically wise a masterpiece. Yeah. Because they mention mm-hmm. the colonizers, yeah. but they never really bash white, white people. people. Yes. And the actual message of the entire movie isn't mm-hmm. so much like what was done to us. It was more so the response to that. Yes. We have Killmonger versus T'Challa, more of a mm-hmm. Malcolm X, more of the king, a person who is mm-hmm. angry mm-hmm. about that, and another person yeah. who wants to move forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think yes. that is the greatest social commentary of a movie that's out in the last decade. Yeah, because yeah. literally the movie, although they tried to bill it as, oh, it's a black film, mm-hmm. the funny thing is once people went and saw the film, mm-hmm. everyone had something to connect to it yes. because they focused on the story, the characters, and the message as opposed to, hey, let's remind people that we're from Africa, let's remind people that we're black, yeah. let's remind... No, it's uh, like, shit, I didn't, honestly, like, I didn't... Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm like, like... Like milk white. Right? I, I'm like transparent. All right. Like I. I all right. I, real talk. I dissolve in the sun. Yeah. Hold, hold that point. Just so you know, he says what he says, mm-hmm. and it's true. But I said what I said. But <laughs> that man, he's is fun. He is one of the yeah. few white people I know who can almost word for word quote yeah. the movie Friday. Damn. Because <laughs> please continue your point. Sir. God damn. Yes. I have arrived. <laughs> what boy? That'd be um, so, I like watching, like watching Black Black Pan, Black Pan, Black Man, Black Man. <laughs> Black Man. <laughs> Black Man. Oh Black my God! Man. Throwback movie reference. Yes, yes. And Meteor Man. And <laughs> oh God! God. <laughs> See, he's invited to the cookout, y'all. He's invited to the cookout. <laughs> Wrong. I, I, I was, I, I just enjoyed, like, I just enjoyed the movie Black Panther. Yeah. I didn't go in thinking like. I'm gonna be like super sensitive. Like yeah. I just yeah. hope they don't like bash white people. Yeah. I didn't have to yeah. think about anything. Yeah. I just went in and enjoyed a fucking Marvel movie. Yeah. yeah. And I just got lost in the movie. Yeah. And by yeah. the end of it, it's like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, of course I get it. Like Killmonger had his feelings for doing what he was doing. Yeah. And you know, the the plot didn't have to just devolve to yeah. You know, like kill Whitey. It yeah. was, it was, yeah. it was just a good movie, and yeah. the 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 antagonist definitely had yeah. motivations yes. based in his his reality, his reality. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the, but the the movie didn't center around that. I mean, yeah. it was ju- it was it was very much like a an enjoyable experience yeah. every bit as much as like the rest of the MCU yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Like regardless of what, like I don't watch, I don't watch like a, a Captain America movie or something and yeah. just be like, Oh, I hope they don't talk about like, you know, like being mean to black people or women or anything like that. It's yeah. like they, they didn't, they didn't drag any of that stuff into it. Yeah. And they very well could have too. Like yeah. it could have, it could have become that yeah. and it did it was not. very easy. You and, know. And, and that's what hurt my heart because it's like we had Black Panther that didn't have to dive into that and it was a 90% black cast but then we get Captain Marvel that is just like did y'all not see what we did before? Yeah. Why couldn't y'all just make a good, because I wanted to see a good Carol Danvers story mm-hmm. but it's not really what we got. No. All right, because they said, oh, since she's a woman, we have to make sure that all her struggles are because she's a woman. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Why, why does that have to always be a thing? Because, it, and that's another mistake that we get to, and which leads to our second type of failure. Our second type of failure centers around ignorance and not educating yourself. Yes. And it ca- causes you to fail because you don't, basically, it, it, that, that phrase of you don't know what you don't know. But the problem is, is nowadays you have the ability to know. You have the ability to educate yourself. And when you look at certain things, right? It's like it's these are morning cat videos, y'all. Man, I promise you, <laughs> this is a fucking library. Like, man, you can learn so much on this thing. But people don't utilize the ability. They use it as a sand, as a soundboard and as a you know a prop up box to say what they want. But they don't educate themselves, and that's how we get some of the content that we get now. You know what's real? Yeah. And I, like, I was thinking about this the other day. Mm-hmm. So speaking directly to that point, yeah. like the smartphone, using a smartphone as a tool, mm-hmm. I very much hope that in the, within the next few years, yeah. we get a president, and one of the things that he talks about, and he, mm-hmm. he or she talks about, yeah. is actually teaching students how to use a smartphone as a tool message more than just yeah. an entertainment yeah. device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Message. Because there is so... So much. I mean, like, like we, we teach, 
you know, you might you were you were lucky, especially I'm from yeah. Detroit, and like Detroit public yeah. schools are they. I mean, you lucky if you, you learn basic arithmetic and shit. Yeah. But being able to just utilize like like learn like. Don't demonize this stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, I used to demonize calculators. Like, don't you dare yeah. bring that calculator in this test. I swear to you, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. no. No, 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 no. We're going to use a tool. Like, like yeah. don't, I mean, yes, learn the formulas and all that stuff, and we'll learn why the yeah. tool is good for these things. Yeah. But teach the people how to use mm -hmm. the tools that they are privy to every day. Exactly. And then you will just have a more informed and thoughtful user base. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something I, I'm noticing, though, is, look, Men want to have good characters. They don't care about the gender. And I, this is what I say to all the writers out there, mm -hmm. all the people involved mm -hmm. behind the scene with this, and all the women out there. Stop this behavior of having to insult the other gender, belittle them. If that happened to us, what makes us better than well, them? And well, on top yeah. of that then... What are mm -hmm. we teaching to the generations before us? What are we it's, telling uh, children, little girls? Yeah. You want to succeed? Okay, if you didn't get an A on the test, mm -hmm. if you didn't become class president, that's mm -hmm. because of the fact that your classmate was a boy. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're telling yeah. them. Yeah. That, they, mm -hmm. that we need to focus, in my opinion, if, and this just goes back to good character and mm -hmm. writing, is what are your struggles? What are your strengths? Yeah. You know, what is your journey? I mean, Black mm -hmm. Panther, I love Black Panther. Mm -hmm. The reason why? Because I'm a sucker for world building. I yeah. love the culture yeah. of yeah. Wakanda. Mm -hmm. I love feeling like I was going into this new world I've never seen before. Yeah. I love the epicness of the storytelling, yes. the spirit mm -hmm. world of him yes. realizing that his ancestors were not perfect. Yes, yes. right, and the right, right. That was my favorite. And yeah. Learning the from villain, the mistakes. And that the villain actually changed. Mm -hmm. the, the main character, that T'Challa, yeah. actually changes. Yeah. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. Killmonger dies, spoiler, but you should have seen it by now. <laughs> yeah, but, it's been out for a minute. But he actually <laughs> had an impact. Yeah. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. Marvel villains, you know, kind of, you know, they're, they're, they yeah. come and go. Yeah. yeah. T'Challa mm -hmm. was affected yeah. by Killmonger. Mm -hmm. And again, these are all the reasons why I, I love Black Panther. Yeah. Captain Marvel comes and, and Bucky, too. He was and, and Bucky, yes. Bucky as well. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But then, mm -hmm. you know, we have Captain Marvel with, I'm just a girl. And and that her, and also the, the line oh, with, yeah, they yeah. call this the cockpit for a reason. Yeah. That, yeah. Real, first of all, who says that today? Nobody. Uh, Nobody. That, that was, that but was, in defense, it was in the 90s. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Again. Yeah. Blame it on the night. Old, so, old <laughs> solutions for new problems. So, you know, you know. Before, you know, just when the guys want us to be at the table, they want us to interact. But if we're gonna behave like this and be entitled bitches, then sorry, we don't deserve a seat. Well, that's and how on, I feel. And on that point, getting getting back to what I said about the second type of failure of the ignorance is. You look at the powers that be, and they don't pay attention to the community. They don't pay attention no. to what we love. I'm like, how about y'all attend just a geek convention? See how many guys there are dressed up as their favorite female superhero, their favorite female villain. How much they're at the table for, you know, a female character, and the lines are going out the door, and they're talking about how this character changed their life and different shit like that. It's like, mm -hmm. Black Widow, that's my baby mama. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love her story because it's, it's like her everything it just resonates with me. Mm -hmm. I also love Elektra. I have a thing for assassins, if people didn't know that. Okay? <laughs> Any of the assassins are just, the, those, are my, those are my babies. And the thing about it is, it's just like, I don't care that they're women. I care that they're good. Yes. It seems like that's why I still think the best DC movie they've made mm -hmm. recently is Wonder Woman. Because, like, everyone is like, sad, you're, you're not alone. Sad, <laughs> depressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I won. The world building, I thought it was great. Yeah. But like, I'm sorry, like this is like World War One. Yeah. They're all stuck in the trench, like pinch, and guess what she does? She bees a hero. Yeah. She gets up the shield, blocks a Gatling gun, and goes in. I'm like, I about jumped out my seat because I'm like, holy shit! Yes, that's a hero. And we didn't have right to say, there. I'm a lady. Yeah. No. You know what else? You know what else? <laughs> Mara. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. She was line, a beast. And her just screaming bloody murder. Oh, that was not she shot it all out. Yeah. She like was that, a and beast. She didn't have to push yeah. her yeah. gender. I like that she felt she had a responsibility yeah. to the, her people. Yeah. And that she wanted to do the right thing and sacrifice. Like when she's in mm -hmm. the plane looking down, she's yeah. been away from home. Mm -hmm. 
probably the first time in her life that she's been out of water and that she's <laughs> losing all this and that she's going to have to end up like Queen uh, Atlanta at one yeah, point. Yeah. She's she, she's risking mm -hmm. her life, not just for people, but just for her own sake. Exactly. By doing exactly. that, she's made sacrifices. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's strong without having to push her gender. That's what I like uh, about Mara and the yeah. same thing about Wonder Woman as mm -hmm. well, yeah. that they didn't yeah. have to push that. It, it kind of blows my mind. Like mm -hmm. Again, kind of just talking about just the proliferation of... of in, uh, infotainment, actually, yeah. kind of just just yeah. info and entertainment. Mm -hmm. how, how how is it that there's just this this massive just just wall of silence? Between? There is so much feedback, yeah, like legitimate yeah. feedback. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got to weed through it because everybody likes yeah. hot takes. Mm -hmm. But for these companies to continue to just just massively just stumble over their own feet in yeah. regards to making the the right kinds of changes that mm -hmm. need to be made when there is so much mm -hmm. like heartfelt yeah. meaningful feedback what the hell what are you people watching well, what are you it, looking at there's a simple answer for that and that comes to that comes down to the filters we built for ourselves mm -hmm. which still plays into that second type of failure is just look at excuse me people's social media in the pages that they follow, in the news stories that they follow, or the politics that they follow, yeah. Yeah. is they drown everything else out. I hate they, that. Yeah, yeah, I, hate, they, I hate that about media now. Yeah, like media like, consumption in a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. it's like if they only want to listen to and hear and the see the things shit. that make them feel good. Like sure. yeah. I actually sure, got sure, into sure. a debate. Yeah, I, yeah, I got into a debate with a young lady about the Batwoman trailer. She was just like. Fuck no, this show just isn't for you. I've been waiting for this for forever. This is all about me. I said, but see, that's the problem. I said, first of all, it's not just for you because art is subjective. It's for yeah. everyone. I said, and just saying that a show is only for one group of people, I said, first of all, that's limiting the scope. And what you're saying is feeding into your personal ego. I said, I don't want a show that has to remind me that the character is lesbian and female every five minutes. Yeah. If, the, if you're insecure about that and you have to say that every five minutes for you, that's great. I said, but now what you're doing is you're literally Xing out a whole bunch of people that just want to enjoy art. Yeah. I said, what about us who've been reading about Kathy Kane for years, who just want to see a good character yes. on screen for the first time? You saying that we can't be served just right. because you have to have, you know, your social justice, you know, hot points acknowledged every five minutes? Yeah. It's funny because my, uh, my girlfriend Marguerite was actually <laughs> mm -hmm. saying uh, she watches, she's... I'm I'm like the movie person in our household. Yes. Like I love the movies. Mm -hmm. She loves the TV shows. Nice. So she's she's been. I'm like I don't know what things are. And she's, been like, <laughs> she's just like oh my god, like yeah. bringing me up to speed on. I'm just like okay. Yeah. But she one thing that she said mm -hmm. and to, to to kind of flip the, the yeah. coin over, mm -hmm. she said. She was like, I don't like that so many of the shows nowadays have to have the obligatory gay guy. Yeah, yeah. She was like, yeah. I get it. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't need, it's like, see, see, we've got one. We've got a gay guy here. See, everything's fine. We, everything's fine. And it's like, it's even, and, and then more so, and it's like, it's like the gay black guy. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's she's, she's, yeah, it's she's, she's like, yeah, it's she's like, I mean, it's a good, and it's, it, it doesn't make the show bad. It just, yeah. it's like, we get it. <laughs> we get it. It, 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 takes you, it, yeah. Yeah, it. it takes you out of it because the moment they have to check box to make sure they put a certain type in, mm -hmm. you go, why, why did you have to do that? Or the ones I hate the most, when they change a character that we all know and love and have to make them either a, a female or black or Asian or gay or a mix of both or transgender. And it's like, sure. okay, yeah. first of all, if you want that to be represented, we have a million other characters we can actually yeah. tell their stories. I, but yeah. then... I just pointed out, does this happen legitimately in Hellboy? So remember yeah. the casting situation yeah. going on. Okay, so one the, the, character, the new one, the new one that yeah. came out. So okay, one character yeah. originally got a, a white, you know, mm -hmm. Caucasian actor, but the character that wasn't mm -hmm. his ethnicity in the mm -hmm. the comic. So fans weren't happy about that. Yeah. So good on them. They got mm -hmm. the right casting because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But then there's another character. It was a female. I forget mm -hmm. her name now, but she's mm -hmm. she's like Scottish or Irish. Yeah. She had like red hair in the mm -hmm. comics, and they made her like a mix, like yeah. half white, half. Yeah, but, but yeah, because they had to. But it's a double standard. Feel that, and it's like it's a double standard. I'm not, yeah. you, you know, I'm not being racist. It's just a matter of fact. Like if you're gonna play by that, if you want it to be accurate to the comic, why are you only doing that for one character? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all I'm saying. If, yeah. if you want to be fair, then you have to, you know, live up to it. You gotta maintain that. Yeah. 
They did that with um like like Domino uh, and and yeah. Deadpool is not yeah she's not well, a woman of color necessarily I yeah and and <laughs> see the thing that my my argument for that was <laughs> say what huh no Bill was oh no I was, I was like oh, I see what you did there that is it no it's like even when they did that with Domino someone was like see Jarrell that's not that bad I said yeah the character was played well and that was cool well they didn't even I said, they didn't they didn't billboard the fact that Domino who is now chocolatey and, and that was the thing <laughs> there, and, 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 and that, there black black widow that, that was <laughs> that was literally the part of my argument I said yeah I'm not a big fan of them you know you know, changing the race because I know why they did. I said, but at least very much they didn't try to make it a thing. Yes. At yeah. least they didn't billboard it. And like I said, hey, Will Smith has played a lot of white comic book characters. He has. Because guess what? I Robot, that is not a black dude. Okay? Wild Wild West, that is not a black yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And and, and used other to watch that like show that, growing up. Right? Yeah. You know, but it's just like it's all in how you present it. Sure. When you try to make it something to where like, look, we did a thing. Don't you see we've changed? Aren't we progressive? It's just like, now you've taken me out of the experience, especially when a change makes no sense. Like, I'll give a perfect example before we move into our final point, you know, is with Arrow with Mr. Terrific. Mr. Terrific is my favorite comic book character mm. above everybody okay. because his superpower is learning. I always tell people that's my superpower. Like, that's what's kept me in this industry working is I can learn something really fast and master it really quickly. That's pretty and terrific. He's a, yeah, he's a character. Shut up. <laughs> that's know, terrific. He's a character oh. that is stereotypically, <laughs> like, in the comics, he is, he's a man's man. Sure. He loves wrestling. He's not homophobic, but he just, he even said, he said, I, he said, hey, do what you do, but I don't, I just don't get it because that's not my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then in the show, not only do they make him gay, they made him frail. They made him weak, and they made him the butt of every joke. Yeah. Here. So it has to say, okay, so now you get the black gay weak character, and you change one of the most badass characters who's actually beat Batman in a fight, and now he's the skinny, funny, weird, frail gay guy. You know what I think? I, I feel like hmm. they're they're taking like like who? All right, who on this show? Who in this cast mm -hmm. do we not know slash care about? That guy. Well, we want. We need to just shoehorn in this type of character, so nobody knows who he is anyway. Fuck it. We'll just do uh, right. You mean the Big Bush, Mr. Trippick, who's in the Watchtower? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, see. I understand. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying yeah. they do, <laughs> and they don't care. Yeah. And they're just yeah, gonna do what they, they do because they, they don't. We, or and they, they don't. don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and they just assume that the audience is gonna be like Mr. Terrific, whoever the fuck that is. Right? And it was one of the things, because like when they said Mr. Terrific, I got so juiced, and I was like, and, the, and then again, because it's Greg Bertlanti, I got a whole episode, I'm going to talk about you, Greg. Message! <laughs> Every five minutes, there had to be a reference to why Curtis is gay. And it's like, we get it. We don't care. Why do we keep making it a thing? And then, of course, the, the show that really hurt my heart when they ruined fucking Supergirl, when they had to spend an entire episode on Alex Danvers coming out. And then the next episode, they said, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. No, Jesus. And then the following season, the whole season was just about gay rights and anti-rights gun laws. And it was like, but why do we have to do this? It's cool to be topical. It's not cool to, like, just bludgeon your audience over the head with that stuff. Literally. They were just like, you got to love gay people. You got to love refugees. You got to hate guns. And okay. that was an entire season. R real talk. Okay, so, like, <laughs> I'm kind of, like, in and out of the CW yeah. stuff. But one thing that just really rubbed me the wrong way in an yeah. otherwise really solid show, I thought, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Black Lightning. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the, the first season of Black Lightning, mm -hmm. like they, they just outright, just verbatim, just copy pasted, yeah. like you will not replace yeah. it, that that the Charlottesville yeah. stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, y'all couldn't even like change, no, y'all could just the same shit, no. Mm -hmm. It no. felt so forced. It was. It felt. It was so stinking forced. It was. The way and I it, see it is sorry. No, no. I was, it, I was going. I was going to say just it just really pulled me out of the show, yeah. and then I was. The, sure. The way I said whether a. Specifically, especially when you're adapting a, you know, story. Mm -hmm. Books tell. Movies, TV shows, they show. Mm -hmm. You don't need to tell me. This character is gay. This character is gay. Just show me. Yes. Have them, yeah, have yeah, them interacting yeah, yeah. with yes. a gay person yes. Or, yes. or, you know, their partner. Like, don't tell me. Don't hammer it on my yeah. head. Just show it. It's like you may as well be, like, looking at the camera when you do it, you know? Just you know, being like, yeah. you know, like the fact that wink, even, wink. Yeah, the fact that we even have Batwoman, that's all I need to know. Okay, we have Batwoman. Now let's even get to the story because the other thing, too, in that trailer is, so what the hell is going on? There's Who is this lady coming in the... the the crows? Like what? And what? they spent no time with 
what we're going to look forward to. Because Kathy Kane has a dope background yeah. and dope story about how she actually became, you know, Batwoman and her background and everything. Because she actually was a cop. I know they kind of changed to military now. She's somewhat messing with yeah. cops and things like that. But also, and that's another thing. They had to do the, oh, she struggled in the military because she's a woman. No, she struggled in the military because she was in the military. Everyone gets hazed in the military. I got hazed. You get picked on in the military. And that's another thing that gets me. It, it, it's one of the things that, to, to where I hate when they do this to where if a guy gets hazed or picked on in the military, it's because he needs to be tougher. But if a woman gets hazed or picked on in the military, it's because she's a woman. And I'm like, no. How are we going to try to build an equal audience if we can't say that people go through the same struggles just because? Not because they are. Or not because they fit. It's like it doesn't make any sense with that. And I'm going to get to our last point of failure, you know, before we get to full mouth trivia is... There's so much we want to talk about, y'all. Yeah, so right? Yeah. yeah. It's like the, the third... The Look third, for the comments. Exactly. Make it happen. <laughs> exactly. Because, yeah, we can always do a part two. Mm -hmm. But the third point of failure is a failure that we have all have gone through and we all still go through is a failure of necessity. And failure of necessity, you know, looking at in the geek world is... Sometimes you have to fall on your face, and sometimes multiple times, That's in life, order life. to get to the next. Step. Especially yeah. out here, man. Like, you, you, like you're not going to go to the next level until no. you like. It's like life's just kind of being like, well, as soon as you like fuck up, yeah, we'll yeah. let you move on. Yeah, <laughs> but Brian, you ain't grown to that point yeah. yet. Brian Brown had a uh, tech talk that she ended up turning to a Netflix special, and while she was on stage talking to everyone, she said something that only a few people in the audience got, but she kept driving it home. She was just like, you're going to fail. Yes. Yes. Not you yes. might fail. It's inevitable. Not you can it's fail. Thanos. You are go yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> going to <laughs> fail. You are not going to be successful until you fail. If you haven't failed, be afraid, because that means a big one is coming. It's coming, man. And it's like, people have to understand that Failure is just a part of the process. Yes. How do you understand what winning is like if you haven't failed? Right. You work right. out. They yeah, call yeah. it working your muscles to failure mm -hmm. for a reason. You cannot go. Look at Bill. <laughs> Bill knows <laughs> things about exactly. failure because he's yeah. enormous. Exactly. Okay. You know. Like, like, um, yeah. like a true fact that uh, about a little more than ten years ago, mm -hmm. I tested for my first degree IQ in Jitsu Black Belt. Mm -hmm. This is a very pristine, very tough school. Mm -hmm. I'll look you on the face, but on camera. I failed my first test because yeah. I stuttered. Yep. And it's a hundred percent pass for a written, physical, and oral exam. Yep. And I failed. I was all about to Chicago and I failed. Yep. I had to take it again the next year. Yep. And I will never mm -hmm. forget that. I shook my sensei's hand mm -hmm. and thanked him. After that, I studied and I destroyed it the next year. Yeah. Yeah. Because of that, like, yeah. you need that though, because that built mm -hmm. my character, might be more than ready for anything. Because mm -hmm. that taught me right then. Yeah. Doesn't matter what. You be so ready for whatever you're actually going to do in your life, you can teach it. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 yeah. and that's something that they're missing a lot in our content, too, especially with things when you look at characters like Ray or Captain Marvel or some of the other characters. Because, like, Ray, I was so looking forward to being an awesome character. But the thing is, is the only thing that she's failed at is failing to find her identity. Other than that, she just keeps being given she's power. Man, she just manifests. Yeah, she shit. just manifests. And it's just like, how do we relate to that? How do we relate to Captain Marvel? Yeah. It's like, she hasn't failed at anything. And I hope, all her I hope failures, we do see her. I yeah, hope we do see her. I hope we do. But all her failures were self inflicted of her being defiant and ignorant. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. it's just like, you know, and failure is something I tell people, you know, because everyone asks, they say, Joy, you know, you're so successful at what you're doing, and blah, 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 blah. And the show is kicking off. But one thing a lot of people don't know is, the reason why this show is here is because of failure. Mm. Yeah. About a good year and probably three months ago, before you know, we started doing things at Fonco, we were tied to another con uh, company and we were under a contract with them. And basically the contract was that they were supposed to promise to get us a show off the ground and we were going to be basically doing this show. Yeah. And they left us under contract for an entire year and our company was in a standstill. Mm. We had lost money, we had lost reputation, we had lost resource, and I almost shut the company down. It wasn't until I met y'all and started working with y'all that literally was like, okay, we can do this. And, of course, meeting Fawn was just, and Fawn gave me that chance and that opportunity of saying, just try it again. Because it was almost 15 years of doing this shit, and I was yeah. tired. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, I'm tired of getting the foot in my ass. I'm tired of okay. people fucking us over. Jarrell yeah. just said something extremely yeah. important. Did you hear how long he said? He said 15 years. Yeah. Okay, and I know every yeah. single person at this mm -hmm. table can relate. Mm -hmm. When you come out or wherever you when you stay where you stay put and yeah. you are trying to do something that you care deeply about, mm. failure cannot stop you. Yep. 
Yeah. Failure cannot stop you. Yeah. I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. Failure cannot stop you. Message. Many people. This shit's on like a curve. Yeah. Everybody who starts things, you, you start how you're like, I'm about to do this and mm -hmm. this. It's going to be great. And I'm going to make all this money. And then, and then you get into the awesome on paper, man. And yeah. then you get down the bottom of this shit here. And that's where most people stay. Yep. They stay right down the bottom of that curve. That Pre -pre -pre I don't yeah. know what the fuck to do. Yeah. I don't know who to talk to. Yep. I am terrified. Yep. <laughs> But, but that's the, like that's where the work comes in. Yeah, that's yeah, where the real work yeah. comes in. The yeah. struggle, mm -hmm. the, the the hustle, as yes. they say, because it requires work. No matter what you're doing, yeah. if you're if you're a performer, creature yeah. performer, you have to work at your craft. Yeah. If you're a mocap actor, you have to work at your craft. Mm -hmm. Voice actors, on camera actors, it doesn't. Audio people, yeah. directors, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Yeah. How do diamonds you get made? fuck no. up. Time and pressure, man. When you watch your favorite YouTuber or streamer mm -hmm. or artist or musician or whatever mm -hmm. on the social media of your choice. Evo champion. You, Evo champions. Man. You get to see their wins. You get to see their successes. What you don't see is all the hours and hours and hours that they put in. Fucking up. Man. Failing. Looking like. Idiots, nigga. Yeah. It's you cool. cannot yeah. ignore that. Michael that Jordan is the has most really important great quotes shit. about that. Yeah, yeah it's just like Michael oh, Jordan. If you knew how many fucking like <laughs> game-winning shots I've completely yes. blown, how yeah. many? Man. Like, yes, yes. Yeah. The other thing too is yeah. because you you mm -hmm. will find a way. Even mm -hmm. if, if money is an obstacle, you will always find a way to train yeah, yeah, to sure. work on yeah. your craft. Me, I can't afford to go to mm -hmm. a lot of these workshops, mm -hmm. whether it's motion Same capture, right now. whether yeah. it's yeah. acting Same. or, or mm -hmm. contortion. I train at home. I find what yeah. I can, mm -hmm. and I make do with it. And not yeah. only that, but I have this... Yeah, the internet is amazing. Man. And, but also, I have this vision of mm -hmm. where I want to go. Yeah. And speaking to the women out there, too, and, mm -hmm. and just for my own career, I don't want to toot my own horn, but... Toot it! I, yeah. Toot it, yeah. Hell well, fine, toot but <laughs> I believe in my uniqueness enough yes. to where I don't have any competition by myself mm -hmm. because there's no one like me. Yes. And oh, that's man. why mm -hmm. I keep working for this. Toot that Bomb shit. Shells. I, I keep working at this. I keep trying to find a way to train. I keep knocking on doors. I keep talking to people. I've been, I'm 25, and I've been wanting to do this, and I've been pursuing it since mm -hmm. I was 16. Yeah, good for you. One and thing. I keep yeah. going. So oh, yeah. that's just to mm -hmm. everyone that it's like yeah. a Jurassic Park quote life will find a way. Yeah. Your life, your dream mm -hmm. will find a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always tell people, you know, b before we wrap up, because we'll have to do a part two, part three, uh, a lot of parts of this, because we'll, we'll be bringing in special guests for this. Leave comments it's too, you right? Guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you watch this and, like, you have, like, stories and yeah. stuff you'd like yeah. to share, share that share stuff. That and We'll talk about it. We'll address your comments. Please do. Yeah. Please do. This is huge. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, for anybody. Like if you're trying to be an engineer, yeah. uh, an insurance yeah. salesperson, an matter. actor, whatever. Yeah. Like whatever you want to yeah. do. Yeah. A parent. Success is a myth. There's yeah. so much you don't yeah. even know. The crying, the, Man, the, the financial the hardship, doubt, and yeah. insecurity. Yeah. And something I told people because I made a video a long time ago um, that I. It's funny. I got some criticism for, but then a lot of people did understand it. And I told them how motivation and inspiration is shit. And a lot of people didn't mean, didn't know what I meant when I said by that. And when you do something long enough and you do it long enough a certain way and you got to, like Cat Williams said, you know, don't work, change it up. Don't work, change it up. Don't work, change it up. Is your motivation or inspiration will die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not leave, it will die. Period. You will have days where you're just like, fuck this. I'm done. I don't want to do this no more. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah. It will <clears throat> die. I haven't been motivated for probably the last five years. One of the reasons why I found success, I'm stubborn as fuck. You gotta be stubborn. Yeah. You Go have some backbone, yo. to be stubborn. You have to get up and do the shit when you're tired. You have to get up and say yes when you want to say no. You have to get up and sometimes say no when you want to say yes. You gotta get up. And you, it's, it's like working out. On the days that yes. you don't want to do it, you That's still got to <laughs> fucking do it. <clears throat> you still, it, there's a reason why Bill looked the way he does, and although I got on the shirt, I, I'm yoked too. It's the reason why we got the bodies that they we do, them. is because there are days when I'm sick, yeah. my son is driving me crazy, my wife needs some help, and I do, and I still got to find my way to get my workout in. It's yeah. like stubbornness will be the biggest, the yeah. biggest and most active key to your success. Yeah. You can be inspired all you want. You can be, you know, motivated all you want. But I guarantee you, life will go, fuck 
fuck your motivation. <laughs> I, I, I work out too. I go to a gym. I mean, my, my, my family talks. thinks I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm up at 6 in the morning, I Every go day. to my local YMCA, mm -hmm. and I train. And you know why yeah. I keep going? Because I'm consistent. Yeah. yeah. That trumps yeah. motivation. You just keep going to where it's green. They say Every it's day. a habit, you just keep doing it. So it's like, it's Every almost day. like personal hygiene to that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and that that's one of the biggest messages about failure that people miss mm -hmm. is, it was like, well, why do you keep doing it? It's like... You get knocked down seven times, but you get up eight. Yeah. And it takes a lot of work to get there. Like, we're going to talk about this in more episodes, but no, it's not easy. I hate people saying, well, it's not that simple. Actually, it is yes. that simple. It's not that easy. Yes. There's a, there is a okay? distinction yes. between There's a simple yes. and easy. Yes. Simplicity versus difficulty <laughs> is not the same thing. Okay? It's as yes. simple as deciding to get back up. Is it going to be fucking easy? Nah. Fuck no. See, um, <laughs> on that exact note, yeah. uh, I want to cross... Um, well, I'm across to you, Dad, and I'd love to. Uh, yeah. Example is my dad, uh, yeah. he has cancer. Yeah. He has. Yeah. But I remember being like, I was like 14 years old, yeah. studying, trying to get in shape, trying to get all this right, and I was trying to like get in track and all the whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how clever my dad was mm -hmm. in trying to like build me up. Mm -hmm. Because he, he made me like watch like Rocky with them and all these, like, these little like action movies and whatnot, but it wasn't because it was cool explosions. Mm -hmm. He was showing me, okay, Rocky, what, what happens? Okay, you see a guy trying to get his life together. Yeah. You see him trying to get the girl and not, but do it the right way. You see yeah. a guy train his ass off and he loses. loses. Yep. Sequel, what happens? Yep. Keeps training, keeps going for it. Literally befriends and fights the world champion, for the Muhammad Ali, yeah. and wins because he barely managed to stand up again. Yeah. And you see this guy keep going. That's why I love that mm -hmm. series. He trained me and trained me and trained me until like one day, like I was not feeling. I was like, Dad, I want to do this, this, I don't want to get there. He goes, just get up there and do it. Yeah. And I pause, like, what? Yeah, just get, get started. Get it going. Like, but I don't... No, no. It's, it's simple as that, son. Yeah. Just get out get there up. and get up. And yeah, I realized... Just do it. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> like, not to, like, play on, like, the Nike, but, like, he yeah. didn't even, like, try to rip off that. Yeah. He was just trying to tell me that, and that's how life is. Yeah. My mom that's told me is, yeah. about the yeah. same... To that, like, literally along those same lines. My mom yeah. told me some of the greatest advice I've yeah. ever gotten. Shout out to you, mom. Mm -hmm. uh, she told me, and this was right after my granddad died. We mm -hmm. were... It was... Like a, a super rare event. My mom and my dad in the kitchen mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It was like fucking the stars aligning. But she told me that day, she said, son, whatever you're going to do in life, whatever it is, doesn't matter. It's up to you. If you are scared, do it scared. Yeah. Nice. It was really good. Do it scared, nice. but do it. Because if you don't do it, you'll be regretful. Yeah. And you'll always wonder what could have been. Don't ever wonder what nice. could have been. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it. Smart. Yeah, because if you fail, you yeah. can just try again. Yeah. But if you never even try, yeah. you can't fail because there's yeah. nothing to fail. Yeah. So yeah, you didn't fail, but you don't know what you could have been, yeah. and that will haunt you forever. Yeah, it's right. forever. It sucks. If you got something in your life that that you feel compelled to do, whether it's a hobby or a new job, whatever it is, do it. Get yeah. get started. Like start researching yeah. and nothing else. And take strides. You ain't gotta do everything at once. No. Like you're not gonna do everything at once. It should take time. Yeah. I've been I'm a voice actor. I moved out to Los Angeles. This has been the like year five. This will be year five, five in August. Five years August. I moved first. out with Mike. Okay? Yeah. Both of us moved out to do this shit together. Mm -hmm. We were no. doing uh we were doing IT in central Illinois when we moved out. I was here. working for State yeah. Farm Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean yeah. it's like I, I yeah, I got sick of that. It was time for a change. Yeah. Before I got any older, before, you know, time ran out, as yeah. most people are afraid of, yeah. I took a plunge. I'm like, all right, if I move out to Los Angeles and this is a complete fucking bust, worst case scenario, I have to suck it up and I have to beg my family to get me a plane <laughs> ticket back home right, or whatever. Right, right, right. But I wasn't about to just not do it. I, I spent my entire life just, just trying to maintain security and status yeah. quo. Because I thought that's what my that's what I thought my parents wanted. They're like, no, go, yeah. do it, live, do it, scared. live, live your life, you. scared, live like, your life. And I ain't gonna preach no more. I'm sorry, y'all. But th this is this is, this is we were talking my about. Mom, this shout out to my yeah. mom. My mom told me real. the same thing. I remember the talk mm -hmm. in the kitchen of her house one night, and she like I remember she mm -hmm. just straight up was just like, well, Michael, like, what would make you happy? And she asked me that, and I was just like, man, I gotta be like really honest, you know. And I was just mm -hmm. like, I don't, I think going to like try voiceover would make me happy like i just yeah. want to try you know and like yeah. that was almost like julian said that was almost five years ago i've been out here like sustaining off of this decision yeah. for almost five years i mean we ain't balling but no, no we no. we here yeah you're happy we started we're from here. the bottom yeah, exactly. 
now, now we're here. here. Now and here. every small step I've taken, whether it's some guy telling me, like, at a studio saying, why don't you at least come down and visit? Or the fact that I connected yeah. with someone like Doug Jones, my mm -hmm. dad would tell yeah. me, my dad would look at me and he'd point at me and say, you made that happen. Yeah. You yeah. did. Yep. So that's the other thing, too. Whether you win or you lose, whether you fail, mm -hmm. that's on you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's on you. That's beautiful. You Whether you win or you lose, that's on, on you, you baby. Man. And on that note, baby, you know what time is for? Yeah. That full <laughs> mile <laughs> trivia. Y'all gonna lose all day today. I so. never, ever, ever, ever do well in full mile. <laughs> Neither do I. I never do well. Well, you weren't, you weren't here for the video game for some of the video oh, games. Oh man. Killed it. So yeah. So because people tend to, you know, when they fail and get depressed, they like to eat ice cream and sherbet and shit. Ah, yeah. So everybody, get your spoons in, baby. This is about to be some spoons in. <laughs> As a man that loves sherbet, I'm going to say A for the every question, because I fucking love sherbet. Oh, fuck I'm, yes, I'm taking the L right now. <laughs> Where's Bill? L-A. I don't care. <laughs> well, <laughs> as you guys know, we're oh, going to my yes. <laughs> 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 I just, I just, I just, I just put my face straight in it. <laughs> oh, oh, die of the headache. <laughs> yeah. Melt my wing. Oh my god, it's a trivia feast. <laughs> I can't with none of them. Just <laughs> none of them. As you guys know, with full mouth trivia, I will ask a series of multiple choice questions. And given the answer, if you get an answer correctly, you do not have to put food in your mouth. If you get it incorrectly, you have to put food in your That's mouth. A punishment but this time. you cannot <laughs> chew or swallow. Please and the reason why I got sherbet because it's both cold and it gets runny when it gets warm. So let's see how that works it's out. Full of Who wants some sherbet? I thought deep and long about this. Are we ready? So beautiful. Get my cup ready. I'm ready. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. So question number one. Hey. And all these questions are about, <laughs> all these questions are about failure. Here we go. Known for the creation of Mickey Mouse. Who was Walt Disney's first creation that had ultimately failed and led to become the lovely Mickey we know today? Is it A, Steamboat Willie? Is it B, Mortimer Mouse? Is it C, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Or is it D, Oswald the Lucky Rat? Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I know it's rap, but I'm still saying, hey, I want some damn sherbet. <laughs> I'll say it's Mortimer. It's Okay. It's, it's uh, anyone said Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is correct? You too. Put food in your mouth. Bill! Oh, that's still work! Yeah! 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 These two are ridiculous. And you can't eat. my body. Hey, why y'all got to get the biggest? Well, I said what I said. No, no, no. no. I know. No, 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 no. They going to regret Ow. this. Mm. Y'all going to regret. Uh -uh. Keep it in there. Mm. All right. See, look at you. He already <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, see? He all instant regret. Instant Ew. fucking regret. Question number two. Which one of these movies failed at the box office but has became and still is one of the biggest cult classics? Is it A, The Longest Yard? Is it B, Fight Club? Is it C, Parent Trap? Is it D, The Iron Giant? Is it C, Office Space? I mean, or sorry, E, Office Space? Is it F, Donnie sorry, Darko? Or is it G, All of the Above? It's already right, melted. G. I'm going with G. Uh, All of you are wrong. Pan Trout was not a cold yeah. classic. Everything else was. Put food More in your ice mouth. Cream. Everybody, uh, you can't eat? What? It no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I you gotta hold it like him. It gotta be like spit. Hold put, on. Yeah, put it in the cheek. Put it in the cheek. Yes, big daddy. Put it in the cheek. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, I can't get nothing that tastes good. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. All right, so. I'm sorry, but it's like the mountain goes flavor. One more in English? Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Ooh. Known for games like Pika and Rattala, this company Gosh. created 51 games that failed over a period of 15 years before gaining success. Is it A, Giant Games? Is it B, King Mobile? Is it C, Rovio? Or is it D, Niantic? C? Rovio. Niantic. I'm going Niantic as well. Okay, you two are wrong. It was C. Yeah! Angry Birds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. He just happened to be losing today. Fuck it, I don't know. I All was right. Yeah, you got it so ridiculous. Wow. That was way too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go slow. All right. <laughs> Next question. Who was the executive producer of an 80, uh, of a 1986 flop movie with a budget of 34.5 million and ranked 57 that became a major studio release but a now a cult classic? Is it A, George Lucas? Is it B, James Cameron? Is it C, Jim Henson? Or is it D, John Hughes? Huh? Uh huh? Say it. Nope. Say it. Say it with the chair. 
Say it. I don't care if you got to spit. Say it. B. B. Okay. George Lucas. Okay. Jim Henson. Uh -huh. Who said George Lucas? You don't know one right. Everybody eat up. You yeah. do not know what movie that was. It was A. Oh, so you said because everybody foot. You know what movie that was though. It was Howard the Duck. Mm. Yes, uh, it was Howard, Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so which actor, despite being booed off of a comedy stage and failing at their Saturday Night Live audition, wrote themselves a ten million dollar check check for acting and put it in their wallet? But when they actually got a ten million dollar check the, um, in their first movie, was it A. Eddie Murphy? Was it B. Adam Sandler? Was it C. Jim Carrey? Was it D. Bill Murray? P. Huh? P. Uh huh. D. Put food in your mouth because you ain't got yeah. enough in there. Yeah. No, still, man. <coughs> <laughs> Can you talk? <laughs> See? All right, it was C. Jim Carrey, so everybody got yeah, it right except for him. All right. I'm going to take another bite because it didn't smell. I'll yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got, I got a re up too. Uh, All right. <laughs> Uh, Which celebrity head. was fired by television studio because they were unfit for television? Was it A. J. Leno? Was it B. Oprah Winfrey? Was it D. Ellen DeGeneres? Or was it uh, uh, D. Julia Childs? A. Okay. Oprah. Yeah, most Japanese son of a bitch. E. D. D. Okay. The answer is B. Oprah Winfrey. All right, everybody, put food in your mouth. All right. Actually, would have. Last question. Thank God. All right. So, which actor got so nervous when they auditioned for a Ben Affleck film that they immediately asked an embarrassing question and completely failed the audition? Was it A. Henry Cavill? Was it B. Matt Damon? Was it C. Chris Pratt? Or was it D. Chris Evans? The first one I don't know. Henry Cavill. Superman. Okay. Matt Damon. Everybody wrong. It was D. Chris Evans. Yeah. <laughs> And while they're enjoying the food, thank you guys very, very much for playing Full Mouth Trivia and joining us on the show. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media platforms. Thank you very much to Fonco, to Binary, to Aaron at Hustle Matters, to Hustle Matters themselves, to Live Tech, to Black Magic, to everybody here at the table, to Chris, to Jason, to Sam. Why are you using a damn tablecloth with your nasty ass? To fucking it's Julian, right. to Bill, who is yeah, eating the food. Ice cream. I don't know what he's doing. Don't to Mike, who is dying over here from probably <laughs> playing. Uh, we will see you guys next so week. Bad. We love y'all. You ain't got to go home. Well, I, I, I fucked that up. Now I got to put food in my mouth. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Get the hell out of here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>